Hi everyone, Jessica here and welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are new and this is the first video that you are checking out of mine, thank you very much for stopping by. Um, if you like what you see in this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. So I subscribe to two crafting magazines, there's this one Simply Cards and Paper Craft and then another one Creative Stampin and what I do in each of my videos is, um, so the first video when we look at the magazine we look at what's come with the issue, we have a look at what's included in there, what sort of ideas and things that you can find within the magazine and then I show you different sort of cards and projects that you can create using the free gift that comes with both magazines. So for today's video we're going to be looking at this simply cards and paper craft this is issue 206 um, and with this month's free gift we have got a scoreboard and a um, score wrap so in this particular video what I'm going to be doing is going through some of the cards and demonstrating how to use a scoreboard to create those card bases and I'm going to be using the examples that are already in the magazine so the first thing we always do is just have a quick look through the magazines so let's go ahead and do that now so like I said this month's magazine is pretty much based around using the scoreboard that they've included and then they've given you sort of lots of different ideas of what you can do um sort of what kind of card bases you can create so the first thing I just want to show you I'm super um happy about this um is I've actually one of my Instagram posts have actually made it into the magazine um so you can see just here so this was um a picture I posted to Instagram and I will pop a link in the corner to the actual video to this um, post and this was for the last month's magazine so that was 205 and that was the totally tropical um, die set and stamp set and that came with an embossing folder as well so I'm super chuffed so thanks very much Simply Cards and Paper Craft for that. So let's get down like I said to what's actually in the magazine in regards to the free gift. So I do always show you um, the sort of inspiration pages rather than showing you everything and sort of ruining the surprise for you. But you have got then a couple of pages with, um, again, as always, you've got the pictures, you've got uh, the instructions and the sort of shopping list that you need. So I'm going to show you sort of how to create each of these cards um, when we finish looking in the magazine. So again, lots of different cards. The one thing that this magazine does include um, is there are digital... Uh, images and backgrounds and things that you can download so in my next video what I'm going to be doing is showing you how easy it is to download um, this sort of particular um, paper set so it's got a selection of papers and tag toppers as well and you can see it's got some really nice flowers included so with the cards that they've made here they have used this paper pack so like I said this video is going to be about making really basic cards um, blanks but like I said my next one I'll show you how to download these and then we're going to create some cards again using um, these card designs so the actual uh, cards themselves and then using that pack so again if you haven't subscribed to my channel if you want to subscribe so you don't miss out on when that video goes live so again, lots of inspiration there. The other cool thing that this school board can do, they've included um, measurements and grid lines to be able to create envelopes. So again, once we've made the cards, I'm gonna show you um, sort of how to create an A6 and an A5 envelope. So, um, I mean, I don't have a scoreboard myself anyway, obviously now I do, um, but envelopes is definitely something that I am interested in making. So let's show you a couple of the other um, inspiration pages so again there's lots of things um, sort of different products and, and sort of different techniques in here so now there are a few here we go so now we've got again more pictures and more diagrams um, and sort of more inspiration on how you can um, use the scoreboard to obviously make your card bases and other sort of little projects. So you've got card dimensions, um, so that's really useful for the kind of cards that you can make that they're showing you. You've got this really helpful diagram of what you can um, or what the scoreboard has on it really. So you've got envelope dimensions, uh, guidelines for envelopes, uh, so there's a little hole in there to put some ribbon in, you've got card dimensions, so really just sort of explaining the tool that you've got. 
Um, over here as well, you do have a little tip. Um, so what they're advising is to use sort of a permanent marker um, and just to go over the envelope grid lines um, and that's going to help you. So that's what I've done. So you can see here I've just taken a um, pink Sharpie and I've just gone um, along these grid lines that they've advised in the magazine and that should then help when scoring your envelope. So I would recommend sort of doing that before you start. So again, they're explaining their cards a little bit more, but also things like creating a rosette topper as well. So again, there's lots of things that you can do using this particular scoreboard. And there's one other section in here. Again, this is using the papers, but you would be able to use your scoreboard again to create these. Um, so we've got boxes, we've got bags, we've got a mini album. So again, lots of different things that you can create using this um, scoreboard. So the other thing in this magazine I just want to show you um, is this digital download stamp. So, sorry, so you can download digital stamps from the Simply Cards and Papercraft website. So again, um, so in the following video from using the papers, I'm going to be showing you how to use these digital stamps, how to print them and then create cards with them. So on their website and in quite a lot of their magazines, they do have these free digital downloads. Um, and then you've got like sort of a whole back catalogue um, of other images and sort of sentiments that you can download. So again, I will be doing another video on that. So again, like I said, if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. So I really love the digital stamps they've got in this one. I really love this background here. And I'm looking forward to sort of seeing different ways that we can um, use it, colour it and create different cards. So that's pretty much it for the magazine. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual scoreboard itself. So like I said, I've um, just used a permanent marker just to put in my um, envelope score lines, but you can see here that you've got these diagonal dotted lines, and this is then uh, what you use to line up your um, uh, cardstock when making your envelope. We've also got other labelled ones, you've got a 6 inch score line, a 5 inch, A6, stepper 2, 3 inch, A6 gatefold, 2 inch and stepper 1. And then of course you've got these sort of two um, sort of shorter lines as well. So again, lots of sort of information on there for you to be able um, to create your different cards. So what we're going to do to get started is I'm going to be using the instructions that are in the magazine and we're just going to create these card blanks. So the first card that we are going to create is going to be this double concertina panel card. So I'm literally just going to be um, sort of creating just really plain white um, card blanks. Um, I'm using all the card measurements that they've used in here just to show you sort of how easy it is. And some of them that don't have sort of, you know, these step by step pictures, um, hopefully it might just make... Um, it a little bit easier for you to sort of follow on and make those card blanks. So let's go ahead and get started. So for um, number one, so score along the long edge of a 18 by 5 centimetre by 15 centimetre panel of white cardstock using stepper one and then the A6 gatefold. So when I first read that, I assumed that it meant this way. After having done it, um, it wasn't because it was then too close together. So it is, so you want to put your shorter edge um, up against this raised edge on the left. Um, and then that needs to sit flush up against there so you can get your measurements correct. So now we've got that in, we can then um, score at step of one. And then, so you've got a two inch and an A6 gatefold pretty close together. So just try to make sure, do it slowly to make sure that you stay in this lane, um, the A6 lane, rather than then sort of starting there and then going over to the uh, two inch side. So again, make sure you've got a flush up against the side. And we're going to score there. So then we're going to move this score line of this A6 gatefold that we've just created, we're going to move this and line that up with stepper one, so with the stepper one line. Then we're going to score again at A6. So now we've got three score marks. And then we're going to do that one more time. So again, the last score line that we've just done, we're going to move that over to stepper one. And then we're going to score again at A6. And basically, we're just going to repeat the process 
for the other side. So we're going to turn it 180 degrees. We're going to score at step a one and a six gate fold. We're then going to move our last score line to be in line with the step a one score line. And we're going to score again at a six. Then again, we're going to move that, line it up with step a one and score again at gate fold, at A6 gate fold. So all in all, you will have four score lines for each side. So once we've done that, so we're gonna fold, so in the instructions, fold and burnish all of the score lines in a valley mountain, valley mountain fold each side. So let's just move this out away. So we can use then our little tool, and this is gonna help um, sort of really put in those score lines. So the first one we're going to do, so I'm going to start from the middle and work my, oh, I'll just wait for that to focus back up. So I'm going to start from, so I'm going to start from the inside and work my way out. So with the fold line closest to the centre, I'm going to fold that back on itself. And then I'm just going to use the tool just to burnish it down. The next line, I'm going to fold towards me. And then I'm just going to alternate, fold it back on itself, and then fold it towards me. So we have got our one side. So now we can go ahead and do the same on the other side. So we're going to fold away from me. And towards me. So obviously this is really important. You want to make sure that you get really good folds and that they are sort of nice and even folds as well. So you can just sort of raise those out a little bit. And then it's going to stand up. So you've got this really nice sort of concertina effect. And it's going to stand just like that. So the next card that they are showing in the magazine is a really just basic uh, standard uh, card. So I'm not going to um, sort of worry about doing that one. Okay, so for the easel cards, I've got my easel base. You need a stopper strip. And this one's just got um, sort of this square topper. And I have cut that out as well. So we will sort of pop that on just to sort of finish the card completely. So now we need to look at scoring to create our actual card base. So this is 21 centimetres by 14.8 centimetres. So the instructions say, using the scoreboard along the 21 centimetre side, score at the A6 gatefold, so this one, and then the A6 score line, so this one. So we're gonna make two score lines. So reading that, and obviously the first time I tried doing this, so it says score, along the 21 sorry so it says along the 21 centimeter side score at a6 gatefold line so to me that is put it in this way however having done that um it's not right so we're going to put it in the short side then we're going to score a6 gatefold and then just the a6 line then it's telling us to uh, fold and burnish and then so the score lines so you have two mountain folds so we'll score that one and then we're going to score that as well so basically that um this one is the middle of the card and then so for our easel it's going to sit like that so score the shorter side to come down so then the next thing to do, so this um, sort of strip here is super important. This is going to stop uh, or allow, is going to be a stopper to allow your easel card to stand up. So I'll just pop this really quickly, just basically onto some foam. Like I said, this is going to act as our stopper. So ignore that, I was labelling up my paper. So let's say we've got a piece of pattern paper and now this piece 
is going to allow that to sit under so again so you can see that so that is our easel so the last thing to do is just use a tape pen let's pop our what would be our topper and there you have your easel card So super simple, the most important thing on your easel card is going to be your stopper because then that will keep your um, easel card up. So another really quick and simple card to make. So let's go on to the next one. So over the page. So we have our gatefold. So gatefolds are super popular um, and really, really easy to make. So for this one, I have cut my uh, paper to 20 and a half centimetres by 15 centimetres. So again, let's bring in our scoreboard. So again, we're going to be using, um, we're going to be putting the shorter side of the card up against our raised edge. So again, as I read it, it might just be the way I interpret it. I would say, you know, they say to score along there, but it's not. We want to score along our short side so we are going to score along the a6 score line on the scoreboard so a6 gate i mean you know because it's obviously labeled gatefold so we know that that's the one we're going to be using so we're going to score that and all we're going to do is simply rotate and we're just going to score again and then that is pretty much your gatefold that's all um it takes to create a gatefold so let's just fold and finish. That does seem to be a little longer. So for whatever reason, it just overlaps very slightly, but you can just cut that down a little bit. But there you have your really simple gatefold card. So it's just something a little bit different than just having your standard square or your A5 or A6 cards. Um, it just makes something a little bit different. So that's that one. So the next card we've got, so I'm calling this a front fold bag card. Um, I can't see that it actually has a name. Let me just check on this other um, gatefold. We've got a stepper card. No, so I'm just going to call it that. So, for this one, our cardstock is 21 centimetres by 14.8 centimetres. Okay, so bring our scoreboard back. Short side up against the raised edge. And then we are going to be scoring that A6 gatefold. Score there. Using the scoreboard, A6 gatefold score line and then A6 score line. So I'm going to score there. And then we're just going to fold. So this, this score line here, so the one we've just done at the A6 score line, that is essentially the middle of your card. So you can really easily make this kind of card with um, just a regular card blank. Um, so if you had a card base like that, all you need to do is just score and then fold back uh, at the, so score a halfway mark on the front. And then you have this sort of front back folding card. So you could decorate this panel, you could then also decorate that panel as well if you wanted to, but again, just a different sort of concept card than just sort of your regular cards that you've got. Okay, so the next card that we're going to be making is this stepper card. So this card requires a longer piece of cardstock to begin with. So I've trimmed this off a piece of A3 cardstock. So this is a 300 GSM cardstock. So this is what I would make a card base out of um, because it is just studio. But for this, so we needed a 15 centimetre by 29.5 centimetres. So again, so that's what we've got. So let's bring in our scoreboard. 
So you need to have a longer piece of um, cardstock because obviously we're going to be sort of creating these uh, different steps within the card, hence the uh, sort of name of the card. So we're going to again go with the short side, flush up against our raised edge. So we are going to score at stepper one here. So we've got stepper one. Then we're going to go stepper two, which is here. Oops. Which, oh, see, be careful. So you want to get your score lines right. So stepper one, stepper two. Then rotate the cards so you have the opposite end and score at the A6 score line. So we've got A6 here, and then we can just score there. <clears throat> so this is going to create our steps. So in terms of burnishing, so we're going to fold and burnish the score lines. So you have a mountain fold, a valley fold, and then another mountain fold. So I'm just going to turn this over. I'm going to fold this back towards myself. So with a thicker cardstock, I'd probably recommend um, sort of going over your score line a few times because obviously you know you need it um, to sort of really score into your cardstock. Then we're going to fold it back on itself. So what I'm actually going to do is just try and score that just again. <clears throat> just to help make that a little more defined. <clears throat> so yeah, just depends on what kind of cardstock you use as to whether you need to do it a couple of uh, scores. So again, finish that. <clears throat> and then the last one, because this is again going to be your sort of centre fold. And that was the A6 line. Ooh. So I'll fold them this way. And again, just make sure you fold it the right way. Finish down there. And then there is our stepper card. So again, really easy. Just three score lines. We've got something really nice and again a little bit different. So that is our stepper card. So the last card that we're going to be, um, or I mean, more we've got. Sorry. So this is the second to last card we're going to be making, and this is the bridge card. So for this, you need two pieces. So you've got the actual bridge piece itself. And then again, I've got my cardstock, and this cardstock is 15 centimeters by 20 centimeters. So let's put that aside, bring back our scoreboard. So, using the scoreboard, score along the at the second score line. So I'm guessing that's going to be this one here. So we've got. This is your first score line, so here is your second. So the second score line and the A6 gatefold, which is then there, so that does make sense. So let's go with the first one and then the A6 gatefold. And it's just telling us to rotate and do the same again. So there, A6 gatefold. <clears throat> And then in terms of burnishing, we are going to, so we have a mountain, a valley, a valley, and a mountain. So I'm going to fold this towards me, and I'm going to fold it away from me. that side as well so there is that side just rotate it and we are going to do the same again fold towards me and then fold away so we have a card like that so when it's flat it'll sit sort of nice and flat but then it will come out <clears throat> so let's see what it says in terms of our cardstock 
works. So by the looks of it for the measurements, it wants us to kind of bring out. So you could just leave it like that if you wanted to, and then so you'd be able to put it in an envelope. And then again, it would pop out when they take out the envelope. But for this, what we're gonna do is just line up both sides. So it is sort of more squared. So let's just put another piece of double-sided oh, tape. along both sides and what I'm going to do is just sort of roughly pop it in the middle and I'm just going to line it up and there we have our bridge card let's bring our magazine back so I believe we have got one more so this is sort of an upgrade on that uh, front back fold card that we created so for this last card again you need a bigger piece of cardstock because you've got that extra fold in there so again i'm taking this from an a3 sheet of paper and this is uh 28.5 by 15 centimeters so let's bring back our scoreboard we are again going to go with the short side so using the scoreboard, score along the second score line. So the second score line and the line before the A6 line. Rotate the card to the other end and score along the A6 line. So the A6 line is this one here. So this is A6 gatefold. But you've got this A6 line here. So we're talking the line before it, so it's this unlabeled line here. So I would say you have to press quite hard because there's a couple of times where I just sort of veered off the sides of that. Then we're going to rotate it from the other end, we're going to score along the A6 line. Again, I feel like that A6 line for these sort of um, length cards is going to be your middle fold. So, we are going to, so hopefully again these have burnished okay because this is the thicker uh, 300 GSM paper. So that's that one. So that's our main sort of bit of the card. Then we're going to fold back next one then this really short tab we're going to fold back again and there we have that cut so again something just a little bit different and then you still got all of these panels that you can decorate in lots of different colors uh, or patterned paper so again another really simple card so lots of really, really sort of quick and easy cards that you can create um, just using the scoreboard that has come free with this month's magazine. So now let's just take a quick look at the envelopes. So I've not had a go at sort of making envelopes. I don't know how successful I am going to be, but I am going to try my best. So we need to have... Let's leave this. So let's start with the A6. So cut a 21 centimeter square of pattern paper and lay onto the scoreboard as shown. So this is telling me, so this is showing me that I'm using these dotted lines around here that's marked 5x5 five five or A6. And I'm just going to line it up. So then first score down the two outer score lines so I'm going to say it's going to be this first line here and then we also want to score down that side then a score across the 4 by 4 inch or A6 score line at the top and bottom so that's going to be this score line here
And then this one. And let's check that. Yep, yeah, so that's the right one. Okay. Fold and finish all the score lines and cut away the four small triangles. You can see, let me see if you can see. We've got these triangles here, so let's grab a pair of scissors. So this is going to help the envelope fold and already it looks more like an envelope. Then we are going to fold and finish. So these shorter sides are going to be our side flaps. Then we've got a top or a bottom. I don't know, no, I don't think one is bigger than the other. So we should get that score line right. And there we have, so we have our A6 envelope. So it does recommend to use um, sort of double-sided tape, but it is showing red liner tape, which is very strong tape. I don't have any at the moment, but just for this sort of purpose, I'm just gonna pop some tape roll down. I know it's not really gonna hold it, but not too worried. So both sides in. So always put it on this, uh, on the two side flaps instead of uh, your bottom flap because in case you go right to the top, obviously you can see how much bigger that is. You don't want them to stick. And you could sort of cut that down if you wanted to. And then you've got your top and there is our envelope. So I'm quite happy with that. So you could sort of alter the design of that a little bit. You could round the edges um, just to sort of make it a little bit different. Good. Rounded that corner as well. And that instantly sort of makes it look a little bit more like an envelope. But there you have it, your own envelope. So let's let's give that other size a try as well. So I've got again another, so the instructions this is for the A5 envelope. So again a 21 centimetre square piece. So we're going to lay it on the scoreboard just as you did in the A6 step by step. So then we are going to line up these dotted lines. So first score down the two inner 5 by 5 score lines. So let's have a look. So we've got A6, 5 by 5, 4 by 4. So I'm assuming it's going to be this score line here. Just make sure we get in. And I'm taking a little bit of that Sharpie with me. So just be careful with that. Okay, next, then score across the two very outer 5x5 five five score lines. So again, I'm going to assume so A5 I would have said so that's actually a square car, a square envelope, rather than what I'm going to do now is just cut the corners off. Uh, those triangles out, sorry. So strangely, that's made. A little bit of an odd hmm. I can't say that I'm a hundred percent on that one. Uh, but let's let's just 
have it done anyway. Okay, so not the size he was going for, but a almost square envelope. So you have got another sort of square envelope on there. So I'm not entirely sure about the instructions there for that A5. But what I am satisfied with is that we did an A6 envelope. So I'm happy in the knowledge that I can at least make an A6 envelope using this scoreboard. So I might not be using it necessarily for creating envelopes. There are obviously actual envelope makers out there. I think for me, definitely the fact of all the cards that we have managed to make um, definitely makes it worth it for me. So we'll wait and see if Supercards and Papercraft bring something out to say, you know, perhaps that those instructions aren't 100% correct. But, you know, the A6, I'm satisfied that that is the correct instructions and measurements to create that kind of envelope. So that's it for today's video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration to perhaps have a go at making some of these cards that probably perhaps you've not made before. Um, hopefully it sort of helped a little bit just from reading the instructions. Definitely the fact that you can use a scoreboard to make these kinds of cards, especially if you're a beginner, I think it's a perfect way to sort of get into creating sort of concept cards and just different types of cards other than, you know, your normal sort of square and sort of A5, A6 cards, like I said earlier. I would sort of still recommend sort of getting it as a starting point. Like I said, the envelope, you know, perhaps they might come out with a sort of um, an amendment to those instructions or the sizes. There's, there's obviously something just sort of slightly off there. But like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Like I said at the beginning, the next video will be showing you how to download and use the papers that are on the Sibby Cards and Papercraft website. And then the next video from that will be using those digital stamps as well. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting!